<laughs> Morning, Sean P. Morning, sir. Do you even know why we're here? I have no idea. <laughs> it's my birthday week, bro. It is your birthday it's on the 12th, uh -huh. right before Valentine's Day. Yes, sir. It's kind of a drag. I know, right? Go oh, on to Cancun, though. At least you're excited. Oh, you can't kill? Who wouldn't be? So, this gentleman has 18 cars. 18. We brought the Take 3, which can hold four. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping to buy at least three. And the ones I really, really want, 68Z28, 69Z28, and 67 Corvette, an incredibly special one. Those are dope. Yep, so grab your cup of joe and let's go. So we are in Victoria, Texas at what looks to be an incredible home with incredible cars. That's beautiful. Look at I figured that was a doorbell. <laughs> Good morning. morning. How are you, ma'am? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Dennis. Virginia. Nice to meet you. Okay. This Virginia is Sean. Sean. Hi. And that's Zach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are we uh, in the right place? Yep. We are? Yeah. Thank God. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's quiet. Uh, Bobby's on his way up. Okay. So This thing is long. Look how well, long it is. Well, it's been widened and dropped and chopped and... Holy moly. It was a four-door. Wow. This this was the front seat, you're sitting in the back now. How cool is that, bro? <laughs> That's amazing. That's mm -hmm. art right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's wow. one of a kind. That's sure. a understatement. But it's just a driver. We we just drive it. It's but that's a show car and it's a driver. It's a cruise, power steering, power brakes, Pretty good, Bobby Kuntjak. You met my wife, Virginia. I did. Hey, how you doing here, young man? Yes, Sean P. and that's Zach. How you doing? Good. Oh, your place is amazing, sir. Well, oh, thank you. Quiet. Beautiful. Well, when I first bought it, there was nobody out here. Nobody on no side, either side of the road or anything. I said, well, it's going to be, and two years later, it started popping up everywhere, you know. So where our, our, our spot is in Wiley, bought it 38 years ago, and yeah. everybody told me I was crazy. It was the middle of nowhere. Now, every you know, well, this thing right here. I bought this in '96, and it was way out here, with gravel road down there, and everything. It's beautiful. And uh, and I showed it. It was it was it was 2,500 acres, and they and they broke. It was 3,000 originally to start with. They for a long time for sale, and then they started breaking it up 500 acre tracks at a time to try to sell it. And uh, I should have bought it all that time, but. Because <laughs> it, it was five hundred dollars an acre. Oh my God! Wow. Now it's a place right down the road. I, I called yesterday about it, eighteen thousand dollars an acre. Holy moly! How many acres do you have here? I got about four hundred and fifty-two. That's enough. Nice. Nice. Yes, that's it, all right. It, 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 keeps, it keeps me busy. I got seventy-five uh, mama cows, and so it's it's a it's a full-time job between ranching and and cars. <laughs> and I tell you what, I. I haven't seen anything yet, but I'm already impressed. That Buick is amazing. Hey, ain't that something? That's my wife's car there. I've never seen anything like that. But I've seen... She tell you the story already. <laughs> she did. She started to tell us. I mean, that's unbelievable. She said that's her driver. Well, she driving it. I tell you what, I had a lot of hot rods in my days. Or restaurant, gravy on cut them. But this car here, 
you can't believe it the way it drives on a highway. It no. got an Escalade Cadillac. Oh, it's got a, <laughs> it's a truck interior. Wow. It got a, a 2001 Dodge Dakota Dash in it. And it, it's got that fat truck da uh, air conditioning in it. Uh, if it gets low on fuel, it tells you it's low on fuel. If the door's all jar, it tells you the door's ajar. How cool is and that? And it's, it's not a not a screamer. It won't even burn the tires at the uh, red light. It's got a 273 rear end in it. So, Virginia, who do you keep at this point? <laughs> I drive. <laughs> I mean, it, wow, it's amazing. Crazy. It looks like it's ready to go to the show. That's, uh, a, that's a lot of real estate to watch. It's, it's unbelievable. And it's, uh, it's got a crate motor, 350 crate motor on it. It's got 15,000 miles on it already. Wow. You put 15,000 miles on this. <laughs> and uh, That's awesome. That is impressive. Battery's dead on right now. I left the door, uh, left the door open, and the light was on in it. So, Fisher, that's a hand fabricated door left off to the original four door, cut down to make that door. It's, Can you put your gloves? They call it a shotgun door or a golf, golf bag. Gloves. Oh, yeah. Golf clubs. Golf clubs. Golf clubs. Do you all play golf? golf? No. <laughs> he said he puts his beer in there. Not golf clothes, beer. <laughs> yeah, beer? <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, that's pretty deep. I've it's never seen anything like that. Uh, ever. I, so how many deep. hours did it take to build this? this guy just well, this guy this guy built it for five years. <laughs> and right at the end of the five years, he had a stroke. Oh, man. And he couldn't paint it. But the guy that done this, it's amazing on the workmanship he put into this car. That door he made out of the leftover parts. And I always, I asked him, wow. that, that door handle, I wonder what that door handle is for, inside. Oh, it's the kids so they can get out? Well, he said in case a kid got in there <laughs> and, and shut the door, he could get out. There's Sean, look, at, look at these latches. I know, yeah. I know, it's, it's, all, it's solid state. Yep. Two striker plates, I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah. It looks like he's even got strikers. Like it's got a light in there. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the. Uh, yeah, that is. And then, if the kid. Build. Say, if the kid got in there and got his strength on to open it, you open this door right here. Take a pin, stick it right in that hole right there, it opens that door. Huh. Wow. I like it. Unbelievable. We redone the interior when it had. That old velour interior in it, and so we took all that out and had this guy in uh, New Brownsville redo the interior and cut the seats down. Well, took that headrest; it had a big old headrest, and it, it had the the that's awesome. jump seat in the, the truck head. It had it in there, but we took it out because it wasn't no you couldn't ride in it anyway. So it's got a big trunk then. Yeah, it's got the. Uh, Basically got the original trunk size in it, yet yeah, that ain't changed. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, somebody went above and beyond, I love it. Virginia, that's, that's amazing. Cool. That's a lot of That really is. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, we, we want, you remember that car dealer up in uh, Nebraska, that that old man had all of those cars, Chevrolet trucks he saved? Yeah, Lambrack. Yeah, well, that's where we went up there, but... We watched six cars go by there, and I said, we got to leave. You know, you're staying here because these people are crazy. Yeah, the prices were extremely yeah. high. And when going back, coming back home, we drove up there, and this thing crossed the street in front of us. And that, what was that? So we, we made a circle, and he parked in that parking lot. So and, you uh, found this in, in Nebraska? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. And uh, he drove up there, and he put it, and I said, man, can I look at that? I said, that's an amazing looking car. So what he, he said, I'm fixed to put it for sale. So... Uh, Yvette Vanderbrink, the lady that put on that sale, yeah. did an incredible job, is doing a sale for us in April. No, oh, okay. And I'm going to sell 200 of my cars. Oh, uh, okay. So hopefully it goes well. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you what, we watched those cars and, you know, they were... They were world record prices in the yeah, car. Yeah, it's they, unbelievable. It, and they needed to be restored. Yeah. Although, here, are those Chevrolet trucks out there, it must have been 50 of them. Brand new with one or two miles on well, none of them had a radiator in them, and all the wooden floors were rotted out. That it just uh, it did incredibly well. Well, can we see the Camaros? Yep, we'll go look at the Camaros. <laughs> That's amazing. 
Thanks for showing that to us, Virginia. That's I was not expecting that. Got 56. That's for sale. Boy, it's a solid old car. I mean, it's 56 post. Yep. Got all the trim for it. Yeah, that's a nice car. There's that wild Corvette. Something else there. <laughs> We're going to come back to the Corvette because that, for sure. We'll, yeah. We'll Camaros first. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you the Camaros. I'm going to. The 168 Z28, I'm gonna hang on to it for a little while longer. See how it has helped my goals. But uh, the 69 up there, that's the Z28. It's got the original motor, all number match car. Uh, motor's rebuilt, sitting on the engine stand, ready to go in there. Okay, so the original DZ302. Yep. And the only thing was wrong with it, I, this car has been sitting since 74. Wow. wow. And uh, the camshaft was flat in it. Okay. Oh. And uh, so we, we uh, machine shop here, we rebuilt it there and put the cam, new camshaft and everything in. And it's ready to go. Got the correct intake, carburetor. That's great. I, 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 I do I also have color. the the pollution pump. Uh, it's in the trunk, but somebody taking that off. Mm -hmm. like, uh, well, they took it off the engine, but they didn't. T they left it on the car. How many miles are on the car? I think. Club soda. I'm gonna think it's 47. Okay. But the bottom of the car is really. If you look under here, it's 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 no rust in the floors nowhere. Let me turn this backlight on. I might get a little bit of light. So these were all 302 cars, as you know, Sean. Mm -hmm. So that's a DZ302 car, but they made 20,302 of them. But? Well, it's a 302. They landed at 20,302. Kind of cool. Huh. So they're not rare by any stretch of the imagination, but they are very desirable. I love that color. Yeah, green with white. 68Z28. They only made 7,100 of them. Much rarer than the 69. Uh -huh. That's a cool color. White tier is rare in that car. Yeah. That's a great car. I'm going to try to save, save it as a survivor. I'm not going to redo the whole car. I'm going to buff the paint, see what it comes out look like. Well, I was hoping this was going to be on the trailer today. <laughs> well, I don't know. I just... This car here, I moved to Victoria in 76. I found it shortly after I moved here. It took me to 2015 to buy that car. Mm. To hammer on that guy. And then... Finally got it, you know. Sometimes it takes me 10, 20 years to get it. Yeah, I mean, it's under, you know, it's, I got some other ones in here too, you know. Do you have the original MO block for this car? This block is all original. Okay. The other one over there is one, the uh, 68 and the other side over there. That one there is one I told you had to crack in a lifter galley. Okay. And it's one I found a block that's uh, two days different from the original block. Okay. So you hear DZ term all the time, Sean, on on these cars. Yep. And these well, are MO. DZ is just 69. Right. Emma, this is an MO car. And the 67 was MO. Look at the stick. So got the smog pump on it. Yeah, look, it's wow. it's 100%. I pulled a bell car off, and that's the only thing I ever done. This car here, I think, got 60, 60 something thousand. Look at that. MO. Original smog pump still yeah. on it. Look at all the. This car got seventy five thousand miles on it. Air injection rails are still there. I bought a brand new sixty nine Z twenty eight, and uh, I only had it two months, and somebody stole it, in there in Houston and burnt it. In fact, my wife was going through photos the other day, and she found a picture of it. Where? Yeah, I would. I'm with you. I wouldn't want to restore this car. Uh, I'd go Survivor. Seventy nine inspection sticker. Wow. Two minutes, but it's all right. It doesn't hurt. I had a guy from Ohio. He 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 uh, seen it. And I had it, and he come twice here already. <laughs> well, he must have been weak, and I'm not weak. Well, <laughs> love it. 
All right, so that is for sale. That is for sale. This was for sale. But I'm, I'm going to hang on for a little bit now. And here's, and here's, I, here's another one. I have to, are we talking 20 minutes you want to hang on to it or, or an hour? Do I? <laughs> you want to hang on to it for 20 minutes or another hour? Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, then. <laughs> I like that, sir. Uh, 69. It's a 350 horse 396 car. Okay. Well, the motor was taken out. Well, how old are you? 58. Well, you probably didn't see the damn. What year was you born? 65. 1965. 65? Yes, sir. Well, you might have caught a glimpse of it then. You about have been about seven years old then. Gas prices went up to 75 cents a gallon. I do I, I do remember that. Because... And uh, everybody was unloading these big motors. This guy here pulled a big motor out and put that 283 in there. Huh. <laughs> I got a buddy of mine that done a 67 Corvette the same way. 427 car. Pulled the motor out and put a 327 two barrel in a 67 Corvette and drove it forever until he couldn't drive it more and his son took it. But he kept the motor. His son put the motor back in the car. This car here, the motor, I traced it and I finally found the guy that had it, pulled it out. He said, you're a little late. He said, that motor sat there in his garage forever and I let a guy have it. He said, just sit there. Oh, no. But so, since the block is gone, so I, I was going to upgrade it. So I got a 375 horse block over there, JD block, for Chevelle, 69, 375 horse. And heads are all done, square port heads, intake, uh, rods, I don't think I have the piston, but the rods been all checked, dipple rods. It's a great car. What about the, uh, the pace car? Well, I don't think so. My wife and I bought that in 19, we had that since 78. All right, so that that's Virginia's car. Yeah. You told me there's two cars here that we couldn't. Well, this right. one here. And this is hers as well. We, we bought this one when we got married. Ooh, jewel blue. Wow. Love it. Great color. Ooh, with blue and tear as well. We bought this when we got married. We got married in January of '69. We bought this in uh, six, March of '69. Ooh, what a fuel jet car. Fuel jet car. Huh. Wow. But when I bought it, it had a 327 in it. Well, back then they wasn't working on The guy had the original 283 sitting on the floor with the fuelie on it. I could have bought it for fifty dollars more. Oh, this is beautiful. But I, I sent this one off here to. Uh, I just put this back together of 2022, no 2021, and uh, I sent it sent it off to a guy up in Philadelphia, and and it works pretty nice now. I mean, back then this car probably was a fast car. But you know, today, you know, with the modern cars, it ain't fast no more. No, it's still fun to drive though. Yeah. I mean, it's fast enough. That's awesome. 52.5 window? 48. 48, 5 window. My daddy bought that when I was 10, year, 10 or 12 years old, that truck. It's got a 327 in it. Nice. This car here is, it was a 350 and it's got a 396 in it. It's got 40,000 miles on it. This car is nice. Uh, we, I bought this car in 78. I sold it in 81 to a guy in Kerrville, Texas. It had 39,862 miles. He finally called me back. He said, uh, you told me to call you. I bought it back. So it cost me $1,000 a year for him to have it there. <laughs> That's probably all right. <laughs> and he put 800 miles on it in that many years. Wow. Wow. That's a great car. And then there's another 69 over here. It's, it's a, it's a six cylinder car. But it's got a good quarter, it's got excellent floors, fold down back seat. Uh, it's pretty rare in a Camaro, fold down back seat. The Mustangs all have them, but very few Camaros have yeah. them. Yeah. Good color, too. Is that Fathom Green? Yeah, that's a Rally Green, they call it. Rally Green. Rally Green with black interior. It's got a brand new front end, all in boxes yet for it. Wow. Good good swap for an LS motor. Yeah, I... <laughs> we got 200 projects ahead of that one. 200? <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh, big boy too. 
This is a numbers matching car? No. No. Well, yes and no. Okay. Somebody reached the block. Okay. Oh. But it's the right date code? It's uh, It was originally a 350 horse car. Okay. I didn't know that till after I bought the car. Because I got to looking at the uh, trim plate. And these cars mm -hmm. here, uh, they only made 612 of them. This car uh, was before the, it, it turned to loose the RPO. Yeah, so this is an SPO car? Yeah, so it, uh, it's upgraded to a 375 horse. And the block is stamped. And, you know, the block and everything matches the build uh, assembly line date, but it's too early of a car. And I know you understand that because... Yeah, a beautiful car, though. Yeah. That's all right. Well, let's look at the Corvette. Here's, here's the LS swap I've done. Wow. Got a 57 Bel Air convertible LS swap gold package. Wow. <laughs> Boy, it's scary fast. I was about to That's say, awesome. this is the ultimate it, sleeper. It's, right got the, uh, it's got the 550 horsepower LS motor. I like the color. It's by red orange. That's Why and I, we bought this in 82. This paint, this paint is 30-something years old. Really? Nice car. That's lacquer on it. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. The problem with lacquer people run into, you cannot paint lacquer real fast over the primer. You need to let it cure a couple of months. Right. Because that old lacquer primer has a tendency to shrinking. Mm -hmm. It shrinks a lot. And then when that happens and you got paint on it, yeah, you got your checkerboard effect. Crow's feet. Let me let this thing down here. Everybody is about to learn something because in the Corvette world, there's a lot of guys that know a lot. So I, I had I had the engineering prototype '67 car, mm -hmm. Urban uh, Becky's car. See, they took the park lights and moved them in the grill. Yeah, I like that. I own the two highest option 427, 435 horse 67 Corvettes to ever exist, the Roaster and the Coupe. But this is a really special car here. Uh, we're going to let Bobby tell the story because he definitely knows more about it than I do. So Bobby, is, is, is it SRT Engineering? Is that who built this car? Yeah, RST, I believe. It was RST, RST, okay. It's, they're in North, where in, in North Carolina. Okay. Where, where I understand it. Uh, so back in the day, you had Berger, you had Yanko, you had Dickie Harrell, you had Fred Gibbs. But there was another firm, SRT, which Bobby's about to tell us about. And see, they took this car all apart and painted it that got primed it with a mustard yellow. And this was a brand new, brand new 67 what? L71 427 435 horse car that they took completely apart. Yep. Okay. Wow. wow. And it's got a basically converted it to an L88 GT spec yeah, race kind car. Yeah, it's similar to If you've seen the, I don't know if you've seen it. It's, they got a L88 downdraft tube, but it's not where the normal L88 would have had it. The fan, the fan shroud, you ought to see the fan shroud they built for this thing. And I thought it was a factory thing, but it's unbelievable. So the interior of this car is absolutely just see, that's better than for a off the charts. Car. Unbelievable. It, it, everything looks like prototype stuff in there. Crazy cool. How many of these did they do? Huh? Did, Only one. Th this was it, huh? That's it. Okay. That's it. And here's it. Look at the air tire carrier. Huh. <laughs> For that. For that. Because they were making it a GT car. The spare tire had to be the same size as the car on the ground. Tire on the ground. Okay. Huh. So this thing here is what you call spun aluminum on on a on a machine that do this like this. That's and it's got that. It's got the quick fill, uh, fill cap. You know, it has six out here, like a just dump a bucket or whatever. 
Right, for race yeah. fuel. And see, this thing here is even modified to get get it up in there. Well, I didn't show you, but underneath there, it's got a, uh, what they call a firewall break underneath about a tank in case you get rear-ended. Okay. So this car was basically, correct me if I'm wrong, they were trying to one-up the Grand Sport with this car. So right, it's it's kind of in my book, yeah. They were trying to one-up the Grand Sport, which is but, uh, amazing. But look car. at the day. Look at the interior on that thing. Incredible. Wow. And the interior is in, in excellent shape in my book. Yeah. Being that old 11,000 miles on it. Look at the steering wheel. That, that, in, that, in that article, they, they, uh, that, they ordered that thing from Europe, that steering wheel. That's crazy. Come on, some other... Yeah, it looks Foreign like a, car. it looks like a Shelby steering wheel, very similar. Yeah. Uh, Look at the switches in the roof. And you, it, it's a Muncie four-speed car. Yeah. Uh, overdrive. With overdrive. Mm. Internal overdrive. Yeah. No. Not, not not external. Not an external. So not like a Hono drive, but no. Okay. You familiar with the old Chevrolet and Ford that had the overdrive? Yes. It, it copied it. How's your back feeling, bro? <laughs> I got you, dog. This is a four speed one. Wow. I can pick that up. This so, not so much. the numbers on the motor and transmission, do oh. they match the Oh, color? yes, yes. They, they, they do? They do match. Yeah, everything. Wow. It, it, it's, uh, I guarantee it, it, it's real firm because I had an NCR guy come out here and he just he just couldn't believe that transmission. He said, I ain't never heard of anything. I said, Well, I ain't either. You see them? Yep, I see them. It's on there. And then the block. I see them. So I read some of the stuff that you sent me. Obviously, I mean, this this is L88 spec block. All right. Uh, you've got aluminum heads. Obviously. Aluminum heads on it. Uh, what do you? What is it running for carburetor? Just single yeah. four? No, no, it's got tri power. So, so the, so the L71 tri power is still on top of it. Yeah, and okay. they, and uh, we, you see that hood where they built it? Yeah. See the the L eighty eight cars was a single, single four, and they had that cold air sealer. Well, they made that tri power with a cold seal, and it's just like an L eighty eight hood on it now. It's got the air ducts in the back, right there where it's open, right there. Wow, I think I'm. To me, I'd probably rather run that car with a single four, but if it was tri power, probably. Well, that's you know some people tell me that I wouldn't repaint the car. He said I'd put the car back as a survivor. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I don't know if you watched the Meekum that they had that one GT like that, sold for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. No, I haven't seen that. And they advertised it restored back to original. Well, mm -hmm. in 1967, they did not have autometer gauges. Sure, right. So it's not put back right. Well, I agree. Okay. I have to go back as a tri power. Yeah, here. Here's all the cover. I don't even have them sent off. They rebuilt. Wow. Okay. And that car has like, what, 11,000 miles 11, on it? 11,000 miles on it. Have you ever driven it? No. It, it, it cars, it's been parked since 72. Okay. Yeah. And that's what happened, I guess, of the number eight cylinder. That head went to leaking because they, they ported those heads out. When did you buy the car? Two years ago. Okay, so you, you, you got it recently. Nah, it ain't been that long. And But see, a guy told me about it. Because the car was in North Carolina. He told me about the car. I want to know if I want to go buy it. And I said, nah, not right now. He said, well, you decide you want to go. And then next thing I knew, he said, he went up there and bought it. He, and he's the one, t I wish I could have got it because he's the one that took the thing apart, you know. And when he took it apart, they just scattered it, you know. Yeah, that's a drag. Yeah, I just hate that, you know. You don't tag nothing, nothing, you know. Bag and tag. Even though. Even though I worked on, I mean, I built many one of these mid-year cars. I mean, that's what I done for a side job when before I started our business to make extra cash to mid-year Corvettes. Mid-year Corvettes. I believe we counted forty. Wow, I love mid-year Corvettes. <laughs> I gotta go look at the interior of this car again. It's amazing. So there is a, a really nice article on this car that was done by Corvette News or Corvette Quarterly or whatever. And they followed this car, chronicled this car from 67 to 69. So 
the ticket on this car was $27,900 on top of the price of the car. In 1967, that was a lot of money. Well, the car was supposed to be done in 67. It, it actually took RST Engineering, which I hope I'm saying that right, two years to build this car. But this car, so if you added the L71 427, 435 horse price on top of that, which was already a very expensive Corvette, this car was almost $35,000 in 67. That's, uh, that's a huge money back then. The interior of this car is just absolutely incredible. Get in there, Zach. I was not expecting it to be that pretty on the inside. You know, here's the hit part. One of them here, the other one's up in Dallas. Here. See how it is? Ported heads. Aluminum L88. Unbelievable. And look on the end right here. Each one of these uh, is stenciled somewhere. Where's it at? Yeah. Right there. King Engine yeah. Service, yeah. Mill, mill 30 over. And see, they, King Engine Service is still in North Carolina. So, but, but I called them. But check this out. So the date code on this head. Yeah. January 20, 1967. An L88 head. I mean, this in itself is a really nice piece of history. Wow. So the cast date on the head is? Uh, 3 1567 March. It would be January, February, March. So the, the guy at King Engine Service didn't know what day it was, but that's okay. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, so a big block Chevrolet head. It takes two guys to pick one up. I know this, sir. <laughs> Literally, look at this. When you walked up with that, I was like, look at I that. Picked that up. Unbelievable. Yeah, they, they put those on there just for, not for horsepower, because it didn't increase wait, the horsepower, it's just for weight. Yeah, wait. Well, yeah, I mean, these cars were heavy in the front, and they pushed pretty hard. I mean, you see that, uh, that's, that's the cross member out of that car. See how they modified it? Wow. Let's raise it back up and show you some other stuff. So the, the article that you sent me, it took these guys two years to build that car, yes, right? Yes, yes. That's wow. why you say, if you've seen on there, you know, $27,000 in 1967, I was around that. That's a lot of money. That's like two seventy now. Oh, yeah, two seventy I mean, to $300,000. Huge money. And uh, that's what it says, 27 months and $27,000. So it took 24 months to build it, or 27 months to build this car. The only thing, I don't know why they took them off, they had, it had the aluminum uh, five-spoke magnesium wheels on it. And they, it, it put these on there now. Yeah, probably have to find those for sure. Yeah, I've been looking. But I found some, $4,500 for the set. Look at those, uh, on it. Look at those gauges right there on the glove box, the thrust gauges. You ever see those before? No, sir. Incredibly cool. And, and, the, and, the, and the deal is on the floorboard back here. Somehow, I believe some of it shipped and come do with that. Yeah, for the gauges? Yeah, yeah I, saw, I saw those packs back there. Why they got gauges in there? And look at this thing right here. This actually up oh, works. It's got a lever in there for it. <laughs> flow inside. Yeah, it makes a it creates a draft inside, pulling the uh, hot air out. Yeah. And those mirrors are all handmade. Yeah, they're different. Hmm. You think about that, Sean P. Dude, I'm speechless, actually. <laughs> See the, uh, I don't know. That, that air, that, uh, it's sealed off right along here. You can see where it is. See, here's the, I don't know why they put that yellow paint on it. I guess they stripped it all down and. That was there. I guess the, the rust oleum yellow was a thing back then, I guess. This is the original paint on the car from when it left the factory? Yeah. Or not the factory, but. Yeah, for the one it was. Let's, Sean, let's look at the block real quick. Okay. So, yeah, let's take you off now. Wait and see that. 
look at the numbers on me. Oh, you got it all wrapped up. Is it okay Wait. if we undo it? Yeah, no, it's good. It is. Okay. I want you to see this. What is that? All the, everything has been balanced in there. You can see what it. Wow. So you got 67 day code, which obviously is good. But, but let me show you the, the end number on it. Watch out. Let me watch that oil pin down. Might have to take a couple of changes. Up. I can get out here with the camera. It's all right. We're I don't right. think you can. It, the numbers are real, real faint because they, they partially decked the block. Okay. But I don't know if you can. You may take a picture of them. You see them. Okay, so but uh, that's let's roll it over. Okay, what that's side right. is it on? That's all right, I get here. Turn it away, kid. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. I can see it. You got it? Yeah, Take a picture that's, of me. That's your head. That's, that thing ain't light. They did deck it, but they didn't yeah. deck it all the way. No, it, you can see them. Even the guy from the NCR there just looked there. He said, well, yeah, I see them now. They're real faint. It's super light. Yeah. But here's the tag, so we're looking for a... 52. 115. I always go by the two, rest. 263. It's very light. First, I couldn't, I, I couldn't find them at all. And uh, then I finally got there, you can barely make out the, the last four digits on it. Very faint. All right, so we've looked at 69Z, the 68Z, 67 Corvette. How about the red Corvette sitting outside? Is it for sale? The red Corvette. Uh, the black one, the one that's wrecked. No, that, I'm working, putting the front end on that guy, but, okay. that, but the guy ain't got no money. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love the visible pumps. Yeah, I have <laughs> Everybody's seen that, man. What's it like, that pump? We're going to be here all day. <laughs>